So he's the bottom of the screen here. I believe he I believe he jumps up um at first from play action and then he finds Mark Andrews. But let's watch. Yep. And it's not pass interference. We'll talk about some of the ones that were questionable, but you play action here. And and Sauce has the he, he's I, I've been saying afforded the opportunity. It's kind of it, it works though. He he was he was allowed to be a little bit more um flat footed here and read the run. Why? Because there's no vertical threat to his side. So if there is going to be a vertical threat to his side, it's going to have to come have to come from across the field. So he could always again get on his horse and start to run down the field. So he's a little bit flat footed there and reading the run. But and, oh, he's you know there's there could be something behind him. Well, no, because the formation dictates that there's not going to be at least immediately. So. Um, reads the reads that there's no run get back get uh, gets back on his horse he sees that the uh that that 42 right there is chipping and releasing you team pointed out to to the linebacker level here because that's what he's focused on because that's the, like at this point he's focused on the run and and with the run he's also focused on this receiving threat because he's eligible so um if he doesn't release this also side obviously it's not it's just about responsibility so when he sees him chip and release uh, he he points that out, which he like. His eyes immediately go to what his where where his next start would be coming from the other side of the field, the number three, which is Mark Andrews. Kicks it into full gear. Good angle to uh, to uh, get underneath, and then gets his hands up and and plays the hands, plays the eyes. And there is no such thing. I've seen this on Twitter a lot. There is no such thing as face guarding. That's a penalty. You could face guard a guy. You now you, now. We're talking about making contact and, and and playing the ball. That's a different story. But you could you could cover a guy's face. There's no problem in that. So the thing I like about it is again no panic from Sauce. Gears down with him. Plays the hand. Uh, let me see if I can get a better angle. Um, he plays his hand in between his hands, like we talked about the other day with Garrett Wilson. Play your hands in between their hands so they can't pull it in. Gets it in there. Combination of that and face guarding a little bit and uh, deflection. It's hell of a play by a rookie right there. Pass breakup versus Higgins. Pop your screen again. Yeah, that's this is where you see some of the elite athleticism, right? From the sauce. Now it gets and I I'm I'm cool with this. I actually it, it's not um hold on. Okay. Um so the the, the thing the thing with this is um, for sauce in terms of his, in terms of his technique shuffle into square. I like when guys change things up from, from, from square to shuffle, shuffle to square, aggressive press to soft press, hand shooting to not shooting inside punch versus outside punch. Um, just changing up your look last second, showing a blitz. It just really screws it guys. So I, I like the shuffle into staying, um, over the top like that by sauce. Now the one thing Again, I do want to see is we see how straight up he is, right? Like he is very, very high right now. You got to have more knee bend. It allows you to react quicker to move any, any any movement, right? So slightly high. I want to see him be more balanced there. Matches the inside break of of um, of Higgins, who I don't I don't know if it's the inside break. He has the option to sit that down if he sees in, you know, inside help right there. Um, that's what you'd imagine it, it it would be. It could not be, but that's typically what you're going to see. I don't think it's like, it's not like a designed whip or anything like that. There's no way. So um, it could just be like a scramble drill or an option. And then it turns into a scramble drill. That's why he breaks into the sideline, but he gets sauce gets out leveraged the inside. He's still close enough where if the ball was thrown, he could probably match that break. And then Higgins um, breaks back to the outside in that scramble drill. And this is where you just see pure athleticism take over from, from sauce um, at this point for, for him to be able to, to flip himself like that and explode as quickly as he does is really impressive. And you see the length and playing through the, um, playing the hands through, or, or playing through the hands to the ball, which is really impressive. So at, at this point, he's not in the best. He's not in the best spot. And if he didn't, if if he was a little bit more imbalanced, probably what happens here is instead of him being him being over the top because he still has to guard against him trying to push during it vertical. There he is. He, he would probably be closer to that to that hip. And then when he feels him sitting down like that, he, he would he would match him and then obviously prohibit him with his hands from getting to the outside. But because he was a little bit high and he didn't match that break as well as he could have. Um, that's what puts him in this funky spot right here. But the athlete, the, the elite athleticism gets him back to the ball. Uh, throw is let slightly inside, but it's a, it's hell of a, of a of a PBU from from Sauce right there. Let's see if is there another angle? Yeah. So this is where you see the length. Play through the. I think he, I think he finds that ball in midair. Play through the hands. Look, hands about to catch it. 
per, you know, pretty good catch technique, uh, catching technique. Nope. Sauce is playing through those hands perfectly. Left hand on the uh, on the back, which is important too, because guess what? If let's say let's say Sauce was not to get that, and he is just diving with that with that inside arm, that right arm, and the hand isn't on the back. And guess what? If the ball is caught, his hand's on the back, and now he can't wrap up for a tackle. You have to put that hand on on there to wrap up for the tackle, and also to pull yourself through to make you, um, you know, be able to to uh, attack that ball better. I mean, you're, you're, if you're if you're pulling in, you're, you can pull that arm and extend this arm farther. You know, obviously one arm is longer than two type deal. All right, so bottom of the screen here, we have we have Sauce, who's whose uh, hips are already open. You know, showing he's probably going to shuffle unless he changes up last second. Nope, shuffle again. Similar to um, one of those one of those last plays, I am I don't love shuffle. I just I I really really don't. If you're going to keep him in your peripheral vision and look back to the quarterback, okay. It's just from from this angle, whether it be an outside break or an inside break, it's just not conducive to a good break when when you're side when you're sideways like this. Um, so it's hard it's hard to match really any break here now. It's it's a little bit risky. Um, it could benefit if you see the quarterback's eyes and you know you you jump the route, whatever it may be. But we have Deontay Johnson here, who again is is one of the better route runners in in the NFL, and he takes that. We can call that a dino stem. So he takes like that dino that dino post, if you want to call it that, where he takes it vertical and just he just attacks the blind spot slightly outside, where he takes it. He's making it look like a corner right now. One, two, three, and uh, and um. Break to the inside. So he works that blind spot. Sauce doesn't know where he is right now. He, he does not know. Doesn't know now. If he speed turns, if he speed turns, then he's really screwed. Um, but even but even without this the speed turn, he doesn't know where Deontay Johnson is. So he's trying to, at this point, he's thinking, well, he might be he might just be breaking, you know, on uh, on, a, on a corner, a flag, if you want to call it, if you want to call it that, um, completely towards that back pylon. So he has to play it. He has to get on his horse and play it vertically to speed turn. If he eventually finds that route to be going outside, he, again, he has to be vertical to speed turn. So he gets on his horse, and now that allows Deontay Johnson to undercut him on the post. Undercuts him on the post. Good job trying to clear himself right there by Deontay Johnson with that hand. Again, precautionary. Um, doesn't really do anything, but it's still a good idea. Tracks the ball. Catch. Now he got lucky that it wasn't a that it wasn't a touchdown, but. This play, the process is it should have been a touchdown. Why it should it have been a touchdown? Because that because of that shuffle technique. You know, it, it don't let don't let guys attack your blind spot. Now, again, there are some times where if you're tighter to the sideline, which they're not so tight to the sideline, if you're a little bit tighter to the sideline, like here, you could play that a little more aggressively with that shuffle and not being able to see him because you can use that sideline as your friend. And maybe he wouldn't have, have had to get on his horse as much as he did with him um, you know, tighter to the numbers here. So Again, blind crosses his face. The ball is caught and nearly was in. Um, that's that's a bad play by again. Now listen, this is the process is bad. He should have gotten beat. Did it take nearly a perfect throw to beat him? Sure. Now obviously you also had Marcus Jordan who tried to get there. Um, but the process is that's a touchdown given up. All right? Was his toe slightly outside so it doesn't count? Sure, but I'm not going to just. I'm going to delete that play because uh, it you know didn't happen. Didn't happen. No, nope. then I would be a straight up liar and I would be like. 96.5 of the other guys who break down film are only going to show you positive stuff. Um, so palms right here, bottom of your screen. Okay, so let's watch. Um, some people call it like, and there's so many different names I, I've heard. Actually, really not. Like some people call it two trap. Uh, I, I like I like palms better because two indicates that it's it's, it's a cover two and it's not really um, like a true cover two. So what they're doing here, and you could and you could see it pretty clearly in this one. So it's a it's a really good example of what palms is. So they're they're just looking to see if this he's gonna play the he's gonna play the one if the two doesn't break outside. If the two if the two breaks outside, that's Sauce's job. So Sauce is going to shuffle in this instance because he needs to. He needs to read the two. Two breaks outside. What's going to happen is Sauce jumps that route, and Whitehead's going to play over top of the one. So they're both reading this two right here. Whitehead's read is read is okay too. He doesn't break outside. He breaks inside. He 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 can do me. Then it's locked. Then 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 it's man. If Sauce doesn't see him break outside, he's man. On, he's he's man on this. 
Um, so they're both rooting the two. Two breaks out again. He jumps it. He gets over the top. You can see that very, very clearly here. And that's why Whitehead is playing so much deeper. And some people, I, listen, I'm not gonna, I'm not calling out names. I, I, I've seen people break this play down like, oh, this should just cover four. No, it's not. It's palms. It's completely different. Completely different. Um, but with that being said, um, this is why he's so deep. This is why Whitehead's so deep because he has to be in a spot where if he breaks outside, this could be a vertical. He has to get over top of that vertical. So he needs to be really, really deep because he has a lot of horizontal ground to make up. And that's, you know, the, the vertical ground, he he's, he, the, that spacing is allowing him to get, you know, match, match the, the receiver horse, uh, vertical or yeah. Is that what I'm trying to say? You get what I'm saying. You guys know what I'm saying. He needs to, he needs to give himself some room to be able to get there basically. So Sauce jumps the the uh, the two, and obviously the ball is thrown um, too far out of bounds. But it's it's a really good job in Palms coverage right there by Sauce. Sauce first Pickens, uh, pass deflection, right here bottom of the screen, right in the bottom of the numbers. Yeah, and I like that. I, now I want him to close a little bit more ground than than he, than he does uh, because he is a slightly in no man's land there. Good job just squeezing him using the sideline. Ball is slightly inside. It looks like Sauce, does Sauce get his eyes back to it? Looks like he does. Looks like he does, but 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 Pickens um seems to grab his helmet or or is he kind of gets there's some contact there which takes Sauce's eyes off of it. He tries to get his hand up at the last second. But uh The one thing I think he could do at times is locate the ball better. There are some times where he plays through the hands um, and can't find the ball. So overall, we'd like to see better ball location from him. And there are times where, um, like I was saying with those speed turns, when you're trying to find a ball, what's the ball's flight? It's from high to low. So you don't want to look from low to high because then if the ball is coming down, it's going to cross your plane. Um, you want to look low to high to be with the ball. You know, if you're, if you're, if your eyes are moving with the ball, it's easier to find it than if you're going opposite of where the ball's trajectory. Uh, so you want to go low to high and sometimes I don't think he, or, or high to low. And sometimes I don't think he does that. Uh, so I want to see better ball location. Now with the, the play initially showing shuffle, getting into press. I like that. The thing I do not like about this, he has heavy inside leverage. I'm okay with that. I like the fact that he squeezes. I would just say be careful, get a get another shuffle in here. Because right here, if if he were to break inside, it's it's kind of twofold because he's so far inside leverage. If he is to break inside, he trusts himself to break down, get that slingshot, get that right hand on him, propel himself while slowing himself down, get on that upfield shoulder, play the ball. I get that, but you gotta be careful um playing too far um uh or opening up too soon because there is a possibility of him breaking underneath of you. Again, trust yourself if you want to. It's just a little side note. Be careful, um, or he needs to be a little bit careful there. I would like to see just. I'm not even saying an extra like because he does get a shuffle in, but I want to. I don't want to see him unbalanced like this and such a, such a big uh, opening of the gate. If he was a slightly angle off, and instead of flipped completely like he is right there, it's it's a little bit more um, uh, parallel to the or yeah, like even with the um, with the yard marker, get a shuffle in and he can squeeze it and play that better if it is underneath, but. Again, nitpickiness, but if that were to be like a, you know, a, a squirt release, then, okay. So sauce nearly beat, and you have a little bit of a stutter go there from, from Deontay. But the thing with that stutter, and, and just based on just based on the, the pre-snap stuff here, what, are we gonna, what am I going to say? He's high, he's banging up the waist, he's not banging up the knees, right? So we don't want to see that. We want to see him better balanced. Okay, we could fix that. Uh, slightly outside leverage.